What's up, Taurus? Hey, Taurus. What's up with y'all? It is Ashley here at Fire Intuition. I am here to do your collective reading. This is going to be for Taurus, Sun, Rising, also Venus. Keep in mind that this is general and that it may or may not resonate with all of you Tauruses out there. All right, so please do only take what resonates. All right, Taurus. So we'll talk in. Let's see what's going on with my fools. All right, let's see what's going on. Taurus, Sun, Rising, also Venus. Guide me through this reading for Taurus. What do they need to know in here at this time? All right, let's see what's going on with Taurus. When I let you go, I really fucked up. Okay, wow. Okay. So somebody let you go, Taurus, and by them doing that, they like they realize they're like, damn, like I fucked up. I shouldn't have let Taurus go. That was the best thing that ever happened to me. Your side of the bed has been so cold since you've been since we've been apart. I bet it has. And then we have I've been miserable without you. Hmm. So they've been miserable. At the bottom it says I'm ready to be in a serious committed relationship with you. I thought it would be easy to get over you, but I was wrong. Okay? So they definitely are You see that Taurus, right? They're definitely like, "Damn, like I fucked up. I want my Taurus back." They want their babe back. They want their boo thing back. They want y'all back, Taurus. I don't know. Are y'all going to let them back in? What y'all going to do? Let's see how this reading is going to unfold, first of all. Okay? Alright, let's see. What's going on with Taurus? I'm rising also a bit. Going on with Tauruses. All right, Taurus. So let's see. When I let you go, I really fucked up. So let's see what's going on. Taurus. Page of Swords. Okay, you guys could be dealing with a Gemini. Um, Page of Swords is somebody that is like they're they're lurking. They could be stalking. You know, on your social media, really trying to figure out what you're doing, who you're talking to. They could be talking to people about you, telling people, you know, like, have you heard from so-and-so or what's going on with you in your life? Maybe they're just trying to, you know, trying to find out what's going on. The page of swords also could be somebody that is like, I want to be investigating, but looking into something. So they can be like looking you up, trying to find you. Like I said, on your social media, asking people about you. If you change your number and stuff, they're trying to get a, you know, like do a search, a number reverse. You know how people do that to like see where you're at or see if you change your number stuff like that so they could also be doing that but i don't feel like it's that deep just yet because i feel like this is something that is recent but it could be let's see why the page of swords is here though queen of cups in reverse yeah this person is desperate yeah this person is desperate um, the reason why I said that is because we have the Queen of Cups in reverse. This person can't seem to control how they feel. So it's like they're willing to do anything at this point. And we have it with the Five of Wands. So if they have to involve people to help them, you know, go to people, talk to people. This can also be inner conflict. But we have the Ace of Wands. And we have the Hermit and the Ten of Pentacles. So they have a lot of people looking at your social media, possibly following you, trying to figure out what you're doing, what you're up to. So whoever this is, they're desperate and miserable. But ready to get in a serious relationship, obviously. Well, I don't want to say obviously, but that's what the card says. So let's see. Queen of Cups is reversed. It's somebody that, like, you know, they can just be kind of mixed within their emotions and feelings. Their emotions are something that's getting the best of them. And I feel like you guys being apart is getting the best of them. You know, um, they're not emotionally balanced or no, emotionally stable right now. All right, let's see why the Queen of Cups is in reverse. You guys can be dealing with a water sign. What did I tell you? So, they're desperate, obsessed, and miserable. Ah, Taurus, what did y'all do to this person? Because, okay, they're desperate, they're emotionally unstable, they're obsessed, and over here it says they're miserable. So, what did you do? 
Like, come on, Taurus. What's, what's going on? What did you do, Taurus? <laughs> and I see you guys are standing your ground. You're protecting your energy. Yes, yeah, like you're really protecting your energy from this person because this person brought you down, made you feel like shit. And you're just like, uh-uh, no, like, get the fuck away. So, I feel like, Taurus, you, like, really pushed them out and stood your ground. You're, like, protecting your energy, you know, like, you're, like, really, like, you're like, uh-uh, no, I ain't about to do that. So, let's see. <laughs> Going to this page of cups. Going to the page of cups in reverse. See, look, temperance in reverse. They're losing their shit. I would think this person is crazy. I'm not even trying to be funny. They're losing it. Temperance is in reverse with the Queen of Cups. In the Page of Cups, they're having tantrums. They're throwing shit. They're getting mad. They're looking through their phone. Possibly throwing their phone. You know what I'm saying? If they see you with somebody, they're going to go nuts. They're going to go live it. They're not going to probably do nothing to you. But, like, say if they drove by and they saw somebody, like, in your driveway or something like They're probably, like, beating their head on the steering wheel. Mad. Throwing some shit. Like, they're upset. This is somebody that is lashing out. This is somebody that... Can, they don't know how to control their behavior whoever this is they are stalking okay so let's break this down again stalking desperate obsessed miserable emotionally unstable all right so you guys are dealing with somebody that is just too much for me all right Taurus. what did y'all do to them okay shit did you put a spell on them or something Taurus? i'm joking but like this person is losing their shit okay like going like they're they're bad so let's see when i let you go i really fucked up yeah they did they're fucked up right now look six of cups reverse like they see you moving on but they can't see them move on okay six of cups reverse is it could be like when somebody is like moving forward they're letting they're letting a the relationship go they're moving forward they're focused on new love focused on something else they're moving on they're moving forward this person is having a hard time doing that so you could have already been you know moved forward towards but if not it's like they're just like how are you okay with us not being together us not working this out us not coming together they're not moving forward all right six of cups in reverse can also be like a karmic soulmate connection or it can be like a you know a situation that is just not for not good for you maybe needed to do some cord cutting maybe for some of you guys you guys do need to cut some cords with this person and shift the energy between you guys who's to say but look king of wands in reverse are also controlling and are used to get in their way i don't like all these reversals right here well it's all, all reversals aren't bad but I'll just say the Queen of Cups reverse, Page of Cups, Temperance reverse, Six of Cups reverse, King of Wands reverse. This definitely is a controlling, unstable ass motherfucker right now that you guys are dealing with. It could be an Aries Leo, Sagittarius. All right. We also have Temperance here, which is Sagittarius energy. And they're upset and mad because things aren't going the way they want them to. They feel like the universe is not on their side or they feel like some type of forces or something or somebody is trying to come in between you guys' relationship. With this temperance card they're just they're just they're they're definitely emotionally unstable they are whoever you guys are dealing with taurus they are going through it okay let me see yeah look five of swords five of wands ace of swords reverse they may even be talking to themselves okay they might be like damn i fucked up why did i do this my dumb ass i shouldn't have did this like you know when somebody paces or they talk to themselves that's what your person is doing I do not think this person is literally like crazy, bipolar, whatever, nuts, you know. But if they are, you will know. But I just, whoever this, the King of Wands in reverse energy, they're mad with themselves. They're pissed. Like I said, they're, they're mad. And everybody around them knows that they're mad. They're even trying to pull and bring people into this. For some of you guys are listening to what people have to say, but they, they're not. And what people are telling them they don't want to hear because maybe some of the things people are telling them is true. You know, there's certain people around them that are not agreeing with how they treated you, their behavior, stuff like that. And they may be mad about it. But this person is losing their shit. All right. Yeah, we're going to have to stage after this. Because, baby, this energy is heavy. All right. So, let's see. Your side of the bed has been cold since we've been apart. Let me see. Why is this here for Taurus? You guys can be dealing with a Leo. They don't even sleep in the room anymore. Your scent may be in the room. Okay, they don't even sleep in the room anymore. This person is sad. They are definitely depressed. You kept the bed warm, nice, hot. You know, y'all maybe cuddled, did all that. But they're not happy. They're depressed. They could be sleeping on the floor of the couch. They're not in the room. I'll tell you that. Page of Pentacles. Why well, is the Page of Pentacles here? Mm -hmm. 
the sun in reverse. So they get depressed and think about what could have been, but like, you know, what you guys could have had or just you coming back around. Because we have the page of pentacles here. All right. Um, and this is them wanting to say something to you or offer you something. All right. But it comes with the ten of cups, though. But on top of it, I mean, you know, underneath it all, we have the sun in reverse. So it's kind of like this person is kind of like, dang, what could I have done? They're thinking about it with the page of pentacles. Page of pentacles is a card of thinking to me sometimes because the page of pentacles could be a card of like studying. Okay. It's like studying a situation, studying somebody. And when you study, you think you, you retain the information. You know, that's like if you're taking a test, you have to study. Then that information, it's, it's, in, it's in your brain, obviously, right? So... When you take a test, you have to, like, sometimes we think and we go back to what we read, what we learned, something like that. So that's why I said they're thinking, okay, of how they can bring this back together. Or they're trying to think of, you know, a way to bring this back together is what I'm feeling. They're really, they really are. Um, we have the Empress here, the Ten of Pentacles, King of Pentacles. This person really wants to be the man or the woman in your life. They want to show and prove to you that they can do this, that they can give you this lifestyle, that they will commit to you, marry you. You know, give you what you want. They do look at you as the empress. The empress is your energy, Taurus, Libra energy. All right. We have judgment here, but I feel like they are feeling as if you're judging them based on what they did over here or in the past or just the way they've been acting. But I don't know. Somebody has, like, whoever this is, they have marriage on their mind as well. Because these are all, like, commitment cards, especially with the Ten of Cups and the Pentacles, the Empress, the King of Pentacles. There is like a lot of commitment here. And this person is like, fuck, I've messed up something really good. I'm depressed. I'm sad. You know, it's not the same when I go to bed. Like, what can I do? I need to think of a way to get this person back into my life. I shouldn't have been so controlling and manipulative and all this type of stuff. And let's see. Why right, go into the Page of Pentacles one more time. Page of Pentacles one more time. Two of Cups in reverse. Yeah. So, exactly. They wish they would have handled the relationship differently. That's why I said I look at Page of Pentacles sometimes as a card of, like, thinking, you know, studying, knowing something. So, they can also be, like, studying the soulmate twin flame journey, looking it up, looking up ways to get back with you, like, how to fix a relationship, how to get my love back, how to get my lover back. They could be Googling, looking at, you know, internet searches, stuff like that with this energy here. Because there's an imbalance here. There's a breakup. There's a separation between you guys. And they don't want that to happen. They don't want... They don't want to, like, stay in separation with you. So, whoever this is, they're looking up information. Now, keep in mind, this reading could be interchangeable. I can be pulling all your energy towards, and maybe you're the one that's going through it. Or maybe both of you guys are. But um, more Gemini energy. I have a lot of Gemini and um, Leo energy in this reading. But it's just, like, whoever this is, they're like, damn, like, I really messed up. They're like, damn, I really messed up. So, they are studying, looking into something really trying to figure something out but i just feel like even if they are even though this is what i'm seeing it's like this this has to cut off this has to stop over here you know the tantrums all that type of stuff the control issues or whatever so they're like they're losing it the more you guys are apart the more they're losing it All right, let's see. We have, I've been miserable without you. So we see that. I don't even, even if this card wasn't out, I can already see it in tail. King of Cups, this person is in love with you. All right, world card. When you ended it, that's when they realized. That's what this is about, too. When you ended things and you ended something with them, the world card, that is also your energy, Taurus, because you are a fixed sign. You ended something with them, and now they're, like, all in love, and they want this new beginning. They want to put everything behind you guys. They want to come out of this miserable energy, and they want to start over, start fresh, start new. For some of you guys, it's like they fucked up as soon as the new year came, and you're like, damn, it's a new year, you're already doing, you're still doing the same shit. So it's like, I don't know, somebody wants to prove to you. Yeah, they're trying to get their, their, um, mm, okay, they're trying to get it together. And they're trying to make up for, you know, the pain you endure, the damage, the betrayal, the deception. All right, because we have the Ten of Swords here. All right, so that's why they, they're doing a lot of thinking too without you. 
And not to say like this to us, but I feel like you should give this person a little bit more time if this is something you want to jump into. Because I feel like the longer, I'm not going to say the longer, the better. Because no, if this is what you want, you don't want to like wait forever. But I feel like you need to give them a little bit more time because they're in the Ten of Swords and they're really going through the pain, the emotions, the feelings, and they're understanding what they did to you. And they need to go through these feelings and understand what it feels like so that hopefully they won't do this shit again. Because whatever they're going through, they don't want to go through it. And it's like the worst of the worst. And they just can't believe that they're going through this or that they feel like this. And sometimes, you know, we have to go through things like this for us to be better, for us to learn, for us to, you know, grow, for us to evolve, you know, for us to heal. You know, that's wisdom. You know, even if they're not with you, it's just like in the next relationship, it's like they know, like, damn, like I had a really good woman, a really good man in my life, and I fucked it up because of this. So moving forward, it's like, and I'm not saying in a way we're like towards, I want them to like be better for somebody else. No, but I'm just saying like, sometimes we have to go through, like, to me, I feel like there's a lesson in most blessings or like there's, you know, just lessons that we learn with people and through people. And it turns out to be a, a blessing. Maybe this is teaching you something as well. All right. So maybe in your next relationship, you're not going to put up with as much as you did with this person. Or as soon as you see the red flag, the control, the desperation, the obsession, you know, you're not going to deal with that. Maybe you thought it was cute. Oh, they're obsessed with me. Oh, they're in love with me, blah, blah, blah. And then it turned into this. So who's to say? I don't know if you want to be back with this person or not. So for some of you guys, it looks like it's done and it's over, honestly. But then for some of you guys, for a small few of you guys, there's still a chance there. There's still a lot of love. There's still a chance. It looks like this person can turn things around. I do believe in um, the fact that people can change. But I feel like you can't change people. People have to want to change. So if this person is willing and wants to change for the better, then that's different. But I wouldn't force this person to change. Let them change on their own. All right. So let's see. King of Swords, Ten of Swords. We have it with the Three of Cups. So yeah, then I tell you to wait a little bit longer. I do see where you guys are going to talk, reunite, reconnect. Okay. Um, Fishing reverse, oh no, swords, get a sword reverse. Mm. Why is this here? Why is this here for Taurus? Let me see. Okay, so, okay, I also see this. Your person was going to do something very manipulative. To try to, you know, come back with you or get back with you. But with judgment, they, they changed their mind. They're not going to do that. You know, they had some trick up their sleeve. Or they were going to, you know, be manipulative like they always do. Or come back or do something. But honestly, with judgment, they're tired of the bullshit and the fuckery. And they're being called for judgment. They're being called up for judgment when it comes to the universe. So, they're going through something right now. And I also feel like... I look at the Ten of Swords as stillness sometimes, so needing to be still so that they can all be, you know, be behind you. So I feel like your person is also still right now, meaning like they're moving and taking action and trying to get your attention. Yes, but the universe is forcing them to be still or putting them in a still energy so that they can think about what they done or what they keep doing. So I'm glad they changed their mind on this, you know, manipulative situation or whatever they were going to do. I mean, I feel like it wasn't going to get you back anyway. It was only going to be temporary. And then their color, their true colors or whatever they were going to do was going to show anyway or eventually. So, mm -mm, no, they're not. All right. So let's pull your love messages for Taurus. All right. Let's see, Taurus. So we have romantic date. Let me take you somewhere nice. I want to please you and show you feelings I have for you. So yeah, like I feel like, you know, if this is to work out and you guys reconnect, it looks like this person wants to plan some type of romantic date with you or do something really nice with you or for you. Okay. Or that's what they got on their mind or that's something they want to do in the near future. We have secrets. Deceitful, misleading. Don't want you to know. Um, scared for you to find out. So there's something that they're scared for you to find out or something that they don't want you to know. We're about to find out. We have the nine of cups and we have with the seven of pentacles in reverse. Moon in reverse. They could have slept with somebody, got head all across the bed, did something, had somebody over. Um, 
But it's interesting though because how the energy is coming up here, it's like you guys aren't together and it looks like they slept with somebody or did something and they feel bad. They feel as if they did cheat on you or they feel bad like for doing it, but you guys aren't together. I don't know if that makes sense. You get what I'm saying to her? It's like they feel bad for something they did with somebody, but you guys aren't even together right now. But it's like to them, they feel like you guys are still together, so they feel bad for it. Mm -hmm. All right, we have a new car. And it says leveling up, making money, new career, financially stable. So, yes, that's good. So, either this is you, Taurus, since you guys broken up, you didn't got a new car. You know, you're leveling up, you're doing your thing, you're making money, you're making moves, business is doing good. Or, like, they got a new car and they're leveling up and they're becoming more financially stable. All right, we have vacation. I want to take you on a romantic trip, just the two of us. Now, for some of you, I feel like this person is not, like... A vacation type person they don't like to get out they don't like to leave the city stuff like that and this person wants to take you on a vacation or they've been planning a lot of things I, whoever you guys are dealing with it's like their mind is like okay i want to do something romantic i want to go on a trip i want to buy them flowers i want to do this so all the things that, that they weren't doing before it's like they're trying to show up in that in that way now and they said it's sad that it has to be like that right it's like people always give you what you want after it's over and done generous wow here baby go do something nice for yourself so for some of you guys this person did maybe come up on some little money okay yeah right because um now they want to be generous so this is like oh go get your hair and nails done go do this i just feel like they're going to be really nice to you and start doing things that they were not doing before okay ain't nothing wrong with a little vacation all right but you would know taurus you would know Let's see, let's do this for a tourist. Let's do messages for tourists. We need four messages for tourists. That's two. We have, okay, let me see. Mature relationship. Whether you are older or not, this union will be focused on companionship, support, de dependability, and love. So let's see what else we get because right now, I don't feel like that's what's going on. I feel like this person needs to show up and be mature and bring this energy to the relationship. We have unspoken love. You or your partner may prefer not to profess your love right away. Could be out of fear or of, or of rejection. So I feel like your person is kind of like scared to say something to you right now. You know, they're feeling all these ways. They feel like you may reject them. So they're not speaking up about it. But like I told you, in time they will. I would just give this a few more weeks to like a couple more months for some of you guys. And then it's going to just naturally unfold. Um, we have fun connection. There is nothing better than being with someone who adds fun to your life. Enjoy the adventure and be happy. Some of you guys are definitely around somebody new with the mature relationship and fun connection. Let's see. The seven of wands, the four of cups. Yeah, because you are rejecting this person. Eight of swords reverse. Yeah, your mind is not as focused on this person as it once was. So there could definitely be new love in your life, Taurus. Um, and you're just ignoring this connection all together on this person. But for others of you, it's like what you were fighting for, what you felt like was missing, they finally got it with the Eight of Swords in reverse. And now they're going to show up and be fun in this connection, okay, and be a lot more mature. All right, so I'm not going to take all of these because I only wanted four messages. Sorry, Taurus. Don't be mad. All right, so we have intellectual affair. There will be a strong intellectual bond. A love influenced by logic. All right, so for some of you guys, what is it called? Um, is it a sapiosexual sap 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 someone? I hope I'm not saying it wrong, but like people like... They don't like you for looks and stuff. It's all like intellect, logic, stuff like that. For some of you guys, that may be the thing. Maybe both of you guys are really smart. Maybe one of you guys are not really as attractive as, you know, the other one or like, not the other one. Maybe this person is just not really attractive compared to other people that you dated, but they're very smart. They have a lot of potential, stuff like that. And that can also be like why you feel the way you feel, like as smart as you are, as much potential as you have, and you're an ass and stuff like that. It could be that, okay? Or I feel like this person is dealing with, dealing with somebody around somebody that's going to, like, help them. I wouldn't say help them bring you back together, but this person is smart. They've been through some stuff, and they're giving them really good advice and, like, schooling them on what to do and how to move forward is what I'm also getting. The Seven of Swords, 
Yep, see, I told you. For some of you guys, it's not even that. It's that they're they're trying to figure out or find a way strategizing on how to get you back. They're going to somebody that is going to help them or school them or, you know, tell them, like, how to treat a lady, what to do, you know, oh, you want trying to win your girl or your man back, something like that. And whoever it is, it's going to help. It could even be another person that they're dealing with. And by them dealing with this other person, it's going to help them see and realize what they have with you. All right. Give me one second. I'm sorry, Taurus. All right. I'm sorry, Taurus. I had to take an important call. All right. So let's see. Um, let's pull your additional love messages. All right. Let's see, Taurus. Okay. We have a union. The union of divine soul counterparts is a miraculous event that begins when you least expect it. So, for some of you guys, you guys could be going into union with this person. This really could be a deep connection. Maybe you guys just don't know, all right? Or maybe you guys do know and you guys are going through some type of phase or something like that in your relationship. We have tested. Your strengths and weaknesses are being tested. So, I feel like the universe is probably testing the both of you guys. Are you definitely being tested at this time? Are they? I feel like they're more so being tested than you guys are, you know? Um... Tested, triggered, going through everything. Oh, wow. Commitment. Commitment is an important factor to achieve a successful relationship. So, commitment is on the table. There could uh, be some type of commitment taking things to the next level. You know, I don't know. Um, Taurus, maybe your person is like, they're really going to like, that their, their game up, get their shit together. Who's to say? But if not, you guys could be going into union with somebody new. Okay, maybe this was a test from the universe, you know, this relationship. It was a test you maybe to help prepare you, evolve you, and, you know, um, put you in alignment to, to meet your real person. But remember, we have I'm ready, to I'm ready to be in a serious relationship. So that also came out as well. So I don't know. Let me know how it unfolds, Taurus. All right. Um, if it resonated, please do like, share, comment, subscribe. Hit that bell. And if you guys love to book with me, fireintuition.com. Or you guys can book on my online shop, My Tears I Feel My Heart. Dot com using afterpay all right i love you stay dope bye tourists